This is how you can make a command block system using your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can get a god tier on discord or a super god tier on YouTube. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully functional discord bots with a specific topic. If you're interested in any of this, it will be in the description below. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so to start, we're going to go over to schemas and we can go ahead and create block command.js. In here, we're going to go ahead and get our guild as a string and our command as a string. And then you're just going to create exactly what I have in here. Once you're done with that, we can go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create a block command.js. In here, we're going to get our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder and we can get our permissions bit field. And then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. Then we're going to go ahead and do cons block equals require. And we're going to go ahead and do dot dot slash dot dot slash. And then we can go ahead and get our schemas and then we can do slash of block cmd once we have that we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up here we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be our block command and we can go ahead and set a description this is just going to be a block command we're going to go ahead and add a couple of sub commands and i'll walk you through them the first one is going to be dot set so our name is going to be set and then we're going to have description, which is going to be block a command from being used in the server. We're going to add a string option, which is going to be our command. We're going to have a description, which is going to be the command to block. And we can go ahead and set required to true. Our next sub command is going to be remove. So that's going to be the name. The description is going to be unblock a command. And we're going to add a string option, which is going to be the name of command and the description that is going to be the command to unblock. Required is also going to be set to true on that. Then we're going to go ahead and add another sub command that's going to be reset. And the description is going to be reset the command back to default and we're going to go ahead and add one more this one is going to be a check and we're going to go ahead and set a description as checked the block commands and then we're going to go ahead and do async execute we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up we're also going to go ahead and get our client so we can go ahead and get the commands then in here we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our options and we can also do equals interaction and we're going to do const sub equals and we can go ahead and do options that get sub command then we're going to go ahead and create a function. So this is going to be async function send message. And this is going to be our message. And in here, we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder. We're going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be blurple. And we can go ahead and set a description, which is going to be message. Then we're going to go ahead and send that message. So we can go ahead and come down here and we can go ahead and say await interaction or apply. And we're going to go ahead and get our embeds. And we can also get our embed. And I'm going to go ahead and set infermal on that to true now we're going to go ahead and create a function but we'll actually do one more thing before we do that we're going to come right down here and we're going to say if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator then we can just go ahead and return await send message we're going to use that function and we can just go ahead and get our emoji here and we can go ahead and say you don't have perms to use this and then after we do that we're going to come back up here and we're going to go ahead and create our main function to actually get the commands so we're going to do async function and we can call this compare command and we're going to get our command and we can actually open this up we're going to do var command equals options to get string that's going to be our command string and then we can go ahead and do var bot commands equals client dot commands next we're going to go ahead and do var match and we can do await bot commands dot for each we're going to go async value and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to do if value dot data dot name dot to lower case and then we can do is is equal to our command to lowercase then we can go ahead and open this up and we're going to do match equals and then we can go ahead and get our value dot data dot name just like that and we can go ahead and add a semicolon then we can come outside of that and we can go ahead and do var data equals await block dot find a one and that is going to be our guild which can be our interaction dot guild dot id we can get our command which is going to be our match Next, we can go ahead and do if, and we can go ahead and say data. Then we can go ahead and return. We're going to get our CMD, which is going to be already blocked. We can go ahead and get our query, which is going to be command. And we can do to remove, which is going to be match. Next, we're going to go ahead and say else if, and we can do no match. We can go ahead and return CMD, and we can go ahead and make this an empty string. And then we can do query, which is going to be our command, just like that. Finally, we're going to say else return. We're going to go ahead and get CMD. 
D, that's going to be match, and query is going to be our command just like that. All right, so after we do that, we have both of our functions, so we can come outside of this permission statement, and we can go ahead and switch to our sub command, and we can open this up. We're gonna get our case, which is gonna be set, and in here, we're going to go ahead and say var command equals await compare command. Then we can go ahead and do if command.cmd.length is equal to zero, then we can go ahead and return await send message. And we can go ahead and open up a string. I'm going to go ahead and get a globe emoji. And we're going to go ahead and say looks like, and we can do backslash tick. We can go ahead and get our query. So command.query. And we can go ahead and say is not one of my commands. Then we're going to go ahead and say else. And we can do if command.cmd is equal to already blocked then we can go ahead and just return and we can go ahead and do await we can do send message and we're going to go ahead and get another string i'm going to get that same emoji and in here we can go ahead and say it looks like and we can do c command and we can do dot query and then we can go ahead and say is already a blocked and we can do if command dot cmd is equal to block command then we can go ahead and return await send message and we're going to go ahead and get our alert emoji right here and we can go ahead and say you can can't block that command. Then we can go ahead and come down here and we're going to do await block.create and we can go ahead and open this up. That's going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. And get our command, which is going to be command.cmd. Then we're going to go ahead and send a message saying that we've completed this. So we can go ahead and say await send message. And we're going to go ahead and get that globe emoji again. And we can go ahead and say I have blocked. And we can go ahead and do command.cmd. And we can say and its subcommands if it has any. Then italicies. Then we can go ahead and say from being used just like that. Then we're going to go outside of that if statement and we can go ahead and break and we're going to go ahead and get our case which is going to be remove and we can go ahead and come down here. We're going to go ahead and copy this command so it's going to be var command equals await compare command and we're pretty much going to copy the first logical statement that we have right here so we can go ahead and paste that down there as well so if it's equal to zero then we can just go in and say it's not one of my commands then we're going to go in and say else and within this we're going to go in and copy the already blocked and we're going to go in and paste that down here so if it's already blocked then we're going to say it's already blocked and then after we do that we can go in and do await block dot delete one and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id and we can go ahead and get our command which is going to be command dot to remove then then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and do await send a message and we're going to go ahead and get that globe emoji. And then we can go ahead and say I have unblocked and we can do command to remove and we can go ahead and say you can now use it here. Then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and come outside of that logical statement again. We can go ahead and break and we're going to go ahead and get our case, which is going to be reset. And in here, we're going to come down here and we can do await block dot delete many. And we're going to go ahead and get our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot ID. And then all we actually have to do now that we've deleted all of the data saved, even if there's none, we can just go in and do await send a message and we can go ahead and get our wink face emoji. And we can go ahead and say, I have reset the commands to default. And we can say they are all usable now. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna come outside of this again and we can do break and we're gonna go ahead and get our case, which is going to be check. This is our final sub command. In here, we're gonna go ahead and do var data equals await block.find. We can get our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. Next, we're going to go ahead and do of our names equals an empty array, and we can do await data dot for each, and we're going to go ahead and get a sync value, and we can go ahead and open that up here. Within this, we're going to go ahead and do one thing. All we're going to go ahead and do is do names dot push, and we can do value dot command just like that. Now we're going to come outside of this, and we're going to go ahead and say if names dot length is equal to zero, then we can go ahead and open this up, and we're going to go ahead and do await send a message, and we. Can go ahead and get a caution emoji and we're going to go ahead and say nothing is blocked here then we can go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and do wait send message and we're going to go ahead and get that same globe emoji and we're going to go ahead and process our data so we can do commands blocked 
and we're going to do backslash and backslash and we can go ahead and do our names dot join with a backslash and within strings just like that all right so with that we're actually done with the command portion so now what we have to do is we're going to go ahead and handle this within our interaction create so we're going to go over to events and we're going to go to our interaction create and within this we're just going to come right up here and we can go ahead and do a block command and within this we're going to say var data equals await a block dot find and we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id next we're going to go ahead and do var match equals an empty array and we're going to go ahead and do await data dot for each and we're going to go ahead and do async of value and we can go ahead and open this up so we're pretty much doing the exact same thing we just did within that command but this time we're going to go ahead and say if value dot command and then we can do is equal to our interaction dot command name then we're going to go ahead and return match dot push and we're going to go ahead and get our value just like that then we're going to come down here and we're just going to say if and we can do match dot length is greater than zero then we can go ahead and return await interaction to apply we can say content and we can go ahead and get our caution emoji and we're going to go ahead and say sorry looks like this server has this command we can say blocked from use in bold and we're going to go ahead and set infermal to true on that message. All right, so with that, we are actually done with this entire system. Before we actually restart, I did make one quick mistake um, in here where we copied already blocked. So cmd.command um, is already blocked and we send that. We're going to go ahead and say not equals to already blocked. And so after you make that change, we should be good. So we can go in and restart the bot and test this out here. All right, so we can go ahead and start off by doing block command. And we're just going to go ahead and reset everything back to default. So now we have zero block commands. So now let's go ahead and do block command. And we can do check just to confirm. And as you can see, it's going to say nothing is blocked. So let's do block command set. And I'm going to go ahead and set emojify. We can send it. And now it's going to say it's blocked. And if we run the check command again, as you can see, it's going to say emojify is blocked. So let's go ahead and run our emojify command. And as you can see, it's going to say, sorry, it looks like this server has this command blocked from use. And it's going to not allow anyone to use that command, including admins. So now let's go ahead and do block command. And we're going to go ahead and remove. And we can go ahead and remove our emojify command. And now it's going to go ahead and say it's removed the emojify command from the blocked list. So if we were to go ahead and check it again, as you can see, nothing is blocked. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one more time. We're going to go ahead and set emojify. And we can also go ahead and set our emoji list command. So we can do emoji and we can go ahead and do list. So we now have two block commands and I accidentally messed up one of them. So we can just go ahead and do block emojify again. So now they're both blocked. And if we were to check it, as you can see, they're going to be both blocked. So let's go ahead and try to run each of these. So we can just say hi for that one. And that's going to be blocked. And if we're going to go ahead and try to get our emoji list, we can go ahead and send that. And as you can see, that's blocked too. And then we can just go ahead and reset everything. So we can go ahead and reset it back to default. And now if we go ahead and check it, as you can see, nothing is blocked here and I will be able to use them. The last thing we're going to go ahead and check is if we try to block this command. So we can do block command and we can go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's going to say that you cannot block this command because obviously we don't want to be blocking the command that controls this whole system. All right, so that is how you can code an advanced block command system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.